great tiger falls, the scavengers come out to feast on its corpse. The empire is in turmoil after my father's death. To the west, the Sera and Pandya dynasties are rattling their sabers. In the north, the Chalukyas talk of vengeance, even as they lick their wounds from the last war. Yet, my greatest worry is the island of Sri Lanka. My father invaded the island decades ago, forcing its king Mahinda to escape into the untamed south. Now, Mahinda has returned to reclaim his old domains. All but a single town have fallen to his rebellion. If we lose Sri Lanka, it will embolden dissenters in every part of the empire to rise up against me. That cannot be allowed to happen. I must finish what my father began. King Mahinda is assaulting our only remaining settlement on the island. Hurry to shore, men, before the Sri Lankan ships catch up to us. Oh, they're not making. You arrived in the nick of time, Your Highness. We must hold the walls while our navy defends the harbor. Ungal Sitpadiye. Sariya. In the Katali. Ungal Sitta. In the Ganami. In the Ganami Pogiri. Upadiye. I the day yet. In the Ganami. In the Ganami Pogiri. Sir. Oh boy. I the day yet. In the Katali. Ungal Sitpadiye. Hold fast, men. Let them crash into your swords and drop broken and bleeding in the dirt. In the Ganami Pogire. In the Katali from different sides. Oh, that, that thing's screwed. Ungul Sitam. In the Katali. Ungul Sitam. அப்படியே <laughs> 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 முன்னேறு <laughs> In the Ganami Pogi, 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 in the Ganami in the Ganami Pogi, in the Ganami Pogi, in the Ganami Pogi, in the Ganami in the Ganami Pogi, 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 Sariya, in the Ganami Pogi, in the Ganami Pogi, like a forest of Pari, Sariya, in the Ganami Pogi, in the Ganami Pogi, Upper in the Ganami Pogi, I will. Alright, you know how we're gonna do this? Ha 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 ha. We're gonna do our winner. It's one of the missions. Now. All right, next. Order has been restored, but at a high price. My army slaughtered thousands of rebels and pillaged their cities. The people here have suffered, but the fires of Sri Lanka will ensure that the rebellion does not spread, causing suffering on an even greater scale. 
I tell myself this. Yet, in my heart, I feel tainted. My hands are red with blood of these innocent people. This is not how I imagined the beginning of my reign. I find myself retracing my father's steps, walking where he walked, seeing what he saw. Did he once suffer the same qualms that I do? It is a strange image. The iron-fisted Raja Raja, struggling to balance the necessity for violence with a will to do good. It does not seem like the man that I knew. Then again, I never thought that these bloody hands could be mine either. When news spread of my subjugation of Sri Lanka, our enemies grew quiet. Only the Pandyas of Madurai still flail their arms at us, being too proud to accept that their ancient line is now but a cub next to the Chola tiger. With stability secured and the Chalukyas weakened, I have been given a rare opportunity to build upon the foundation that my father laid. I am not averse to war. And Sri Lanka taught me that even some atrocities can be justified for the greater good. But my empire will not be one of violence alone. War is but one tool in the arsenal of an empire. We will employ every weapon that we have to expand our influence across both land and sea. And our first act will be one of diplomacy. There is a rumor out of the Far East. Surya Varma, Emperor of the Khmer, is said to seek an alliance with us. Such a pact would be a great step towards domination of this region. Indeed, the star of the Chola Empire has only begun to rise. This story is like one of the more boring ones. We have come a long way. But our journey is not over yet. We must brave the seas and bring Yanka. Emperor Surya Varman's gift to Rajendra Chola. Wait. Hold on. Now. Can I build? Yeah, I can build town center. Sailing across the open ocean will be hard on our ships. But the shallow waters along the coast are infested by Bengali pirates. We should prepare for an arduous journey either way. Mm, this is a tough one here. I can't build boats. Nor can I build... Sorry. We'll just take... Nantayar. Almost... This is annoying here. I can build it right here. Okay. So it's deep blue? Are these... Okay, those are deep. Okay, okay. The rough seas are damaging the hulls of our ships. We should make landfall on the Andaman Islands to repair before we continue. Ooh. Hold on. This transfer ship has to make it. Can I Sorry. build a... Am I in Castle Age? I cannot, okay. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it this my way. There's nothing but enemy ships everywhere. And you, you can call it, you're supposed to skip. Mm, that's a tough one right here. Cause you can't build anything. Like online is easy. Offline, mm. 
I'm not a big fan of water balance. It's so difficult to to do without. Let's see what I can do with just having a town center. So, going to in the cut away. Okay, town center doesn't have to be much either. Man, that sucks. Maram bet the I gotta turn this off. There's no good way to do this. These enemies. This is cursed. That's what this is. There's no, there's no good way. Sorry. Cut the vein. Cut the vein. Cut the vein. Okay, we won't leave this village there. We won't take what we have. There is no good way to do this. I mean, except going through here, but the ship will take so much damage. We got a village ready. Okay. What do we? It's a good way about this. Going up. It's just. It's Chronicle E. Now, going through the middle is the easiest bet. Okay. There has to be way too. Uh, Cut to win. Sorry, you're gonna make. Cut to win. Oh, I need. Oh, I. Mm. I mean, I can get on here, and build. It. I can build. I can go by. I can get the enemy's attention by building towers. Sorry. Where's the university? Which I can slap down here somewhere. Cut to win. Yeah, a tower. Hey. And for what we try to do, we just want to pair these real quick. Because basically, you go here. Oof. I mean, mm, so much junk you to go through. Going south is considered the best fit. Yes. Yeah, going south is the best bet here. This is gonna be kind of tricky. To have to, I, I'm gonna have to sacrifice ships as I go to do this. One. So the objective is to stay here. I need these terrible boats. Now they turn my boat slowly, this is gonna be a pain. Is it shallow? Oh, he's definitely. This this not considered shallow. Nope. Oh dang it. Nope. We're not doing this. My, my. 
Mine and my life, Jack, 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 only when, when I reach the station on one enemy, enemy. soldiers and civilians alike, do I see you to conjure up any lasting victory? Perhaps my father will right or wrong. I cannot be evil, great in an enemy. One word of virtue must be sacrificed for the other. The price for greatness is an inevitable corruption. Slow, no death, death of everything that I believe in. For a long time, this one word is sent to me to torture me. It is as if a black, black, black seed has been planted, planted in some murky crevasse of my soul. I have ignored it. It is from it, or or no not. Could it be like my, my fear of corruption was but a sign of my inexperience as a ruler? Something that you are rather than go for the heart of the living For if one cannot reach greatness without being corrupted, Without giving in to that deep desire to increase one's power by any means available, then is corruption truly a bad thing? I think Game of Thrones in the book, the first book, it has like a, like a sentence saying that um, it's harder to sit on a throne than taking anything from someone. I'm gonna see what's the worst campaign to play in Asian Empire.